Welcome to the score and congratulations also on your first runner-up finish. But then coach, I just want to ask you first, um, this is the first time na mag-coach ka ng isang, mag-head coach ka ng isang team. How was that experience for you? Lalo na, bandera pa ng Pilipinas. Well, um, it was a very challenging campaign. Siyempre, nung umpisa, uh, kinabahan din ako na tanggapin yung responsibility. Pero I think yung experience ko last year with Coach Joyce Landagan with the same group of girls nung under 14 sila, parang yun din yung nag-challenge sa akin na um, to play, uh, to coach them this year na sana makuha namin yung gold medal. Now, Coach Marel, this is a continuous achievement. This is the third time that the team you know, went to the finals the, for the second year in a row, nag-silver finish tayo. Or, or for those three years, nag-silver finish tayo. How was that uh, experience like? Or how did this tournament help the team, you know, in solidifying that spot dito sa ASEAN region? Well, I think yung experience nila um, last year helped them this year. Uh, we have about 11 sa kanila na nakapaglaro last year. Meron mga new members. Pero in the ASEAN region, uh, we know na meron talaga tayong chance. It's really yung kalaban lang ng Thailand na nakita natin this year na medyo talaga yung individual skills ng bawat player ng mga Thai, uh, Thailand team may, nakakaangat sa atin. So it's a lot for us to to take in to get the silver. Pero I think mal, marami kaming natutunan dito sa, sa tournament na ito. Pero importante coach is talagang hindi tayo umuwi na empty yung pockets natin. And for the girls also, I want to shift it out to KZ. Um, KZ, you were part of the 14 under team um, it was an experience for you and ngayon lumahok ka ulit sa 15 under was and was your leadership you know a factor in guiding your teammates especially to your uh, new teammates also yeah um, yeah, because for me, I feel like since I was on the team last year, um, I had a responsibility to guide the new players and the old ones as well and to take initiative to help and guide everyone. Mm -hmm. but, uh, for you, Maria, how was training camp like? Um, was it a solid preparation for you um, and of course in preparation for this tournament? Uh, yeah, it was a, it was a solid preparation. Um, there were times where like I would Oh, have a hard time but then like I try to do my best and like bounce back and like my mistakes and stuff mm -hmm. and yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but then uh, coach Elo you were you're also a, a witness to the girls' achievements you know for this year how this how does um any pinaka important siguro trait or characteristic na tingin mo na na develop nila um in bagging this silver medal well I guess yung hashtag namin na refuse to lose Hashtag refuse yeah. to lose. Yeah, we had that Ganda hashtag lor. refuse ah. to lose. Uh -huh. it, it created like a lot of determination for them, mm -hmm. which showed especially against Myanmar. Because mm -hmm. we led, and then they tied us, and then eventually uh, got another score. So, uh, I mean, they scored against us again. So they took the lead, and then but the girls were able to bounce back. Mm -hmm. So it's really determination and heart. Mm -hmm. so, uh, hashtag refuse to lose, Anya. Um, for you, did you take this in? Seriously, or like, was it really part of part it in you? Na parang sabi ng coach, refuse to lose. How did you guys manage to uh, really implement that, or maybe apply that to your team? Yeah, I mean, like, uh, coach would always say that she would like repeatedly give us lectures on how to refuse to lose and <laughs> train it and trust it. You know. Um, uh, <laughs> what was the question again? <laughs> I, I, mean, I mean, how did you... Uh, it's okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. But then Viv, um, you were the ones who got cut from last year, um, from last year's team. But then how did you, you know, as at a young age, how were you able to bounce back and eventually be one of the main uh, ladies, you know, for, for Coach Mariel? I don't know, honestly. I just, like, when I got cut, I was really... It really, like, hurt my heart. Mm -hmm. And like, <laughs> and like, knowing that I could, m like, I could have done better, drove, driven me to work harder mm -hmm. and to achieve my new goal, mm -hmm. to making this team uh -huh. and winning the gold. Anya, I'll give you a chance again. Um, what did you learn from <laughs> Coach Mariel, from Coach Elio, and from all of your teammates? Oh, I learned that like, you have to work up on your determination and. Uh, be passionate about what you love and um, you know your love for football will take you places mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
And that's true, Casey, of course. Um, it really took you places. You've been around the world competing for Philippines. But then how, how is this experience for you, you know, your development as a player and uh, maybe competing in the under-16 or under-17 tournaments also? Um, this experience, it really helped me grow as a player because the level international is really different from yeah. the level in the Philippines. So mm -hmm. um, playing with different countries really pushed me to work harder and be the best player that I could mm -hmm. be. Coach Mariel, um, this is a very, very momentous feat for our ladies. And uh, eventually, sana tayo nang mag-top talaga sa ASEAN region. And eventually, baka Asia and the world also. But is, uh, take it one step at a time, Coach Mariel. What is next muna for the Under-15 Club? Well, ang, for this age group, their next step is next year for the Asian Qualifiers Under-16 age group naman. Okay. And if we win or do well in that age group, then that qualifies us for the Under-17 Women's World Cup in 2019. Mm -hmm. So if you really look long-term para sa kanila that started last year, it's a four-year program um, and the target for them will really be to represent the Philippines in the first ever maybe Under-17 Women's mm. World Cup. Any preparations ngayon? Medyo off-season tayo. What will you develop most with your girls? Well, ngayon, um, syempre pahinga muna and then they go back to their school teams and club teams at um, the other girls go back to the U.S. Like Viv go, will go back to the U.S. with the other girls, and then the other girls balik sa probinsya sila. Mm -hmm. So yun yung challenge sa aming mga coaches kung paano masusustain or maintain yung um, cohesiveness ng team na to um, in the next few months. Kasi uh, like Thailand, they were together for mm -hmm. six months. The mm -hmm. other teams were together for long. Tas kami five weeks lang yung preparation. Mm -hmm. So hopefully we can do pocket camps with them to get the girls back together kahit ilang araw lang para they'll continue to work together and then individually they have to really prepare themselves to be able to play in a higher level of competition all right coach Mariel, i'll give you the chance to invite our viewers to uh, to further support our team and syempre para magbag pa ng more medals sa international competition. Yes. Oh, unang una gusto ko pasalamatan lahat ng sumuporta sa Pilipinas Under 15 Girls National Team. Your love, support and prayers throughout our preparation and campaign really made a big difference for us coaches and these girls. And um, we ask that you continue to support women's football in the Philippines kasi sa competitions lang ng under 16 or even the women's league, that's the only way where we will be able to develop our competition. So please um, follow these girls. They're, they're really great. They're really awesome. Watch them in their matches here in the Philippines and even abroad. And hopefully that uh, you continue to support them when they play next year in the Asian qualifiers. All right. Hashtag refuse to lose. Coach Elio, Maria, Casey, Viv. Anya and Coach Marel and the rest of the under-15 girls Philippine national team. Maraming salamat for your time here in the score and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Hi guys, keep watching the score for the latest sports updates and don't forget to subscribe to the ABS-CBN Sports in Action YouTube channel.